Hi, this is my uh, first video and this is also my first machine. So I want to make some videos first and foremost for people like me who are new to this world of, of what's so-called big iron. And I want to make the videos with information that I wish I had before I purchased. And it took me a long time to researching things. And so I want to kind of speed up this process to explain what are the different features, how do we understand what machine is what, just by looking at a picture on the web, right? I bought this machine sight and seen across the country in Pennsylvania. And so it was a fairly difficult process for me as a, as a newcomer because I had to learn so many things. So I'd like to first go around the machine we're not going to disassemble anything today. We're just going to just go around. Then we're going to go inside and look at the controls. And then in the future, we're going to make more machine, more videos about maintenance and usage and, and all of that. But anyway, let's get started with, with this video here. So when we come here, we can see the, the lights. So that's one option, which is inside. The horn is, is always there. So the lights are controlled and, and the horn are inside. You can see that the windshield has the emergency um, exit was red handled. There's four of them. And um, uh, that allows to remove the whole assembly in case of an emergency. Otherwise, the door, of course, is on the side here with a little help. This is the quick attach. That one is a hydraulic, so it's controlled by a button inside. And... Um, you can see here, this tells you that it's partially open and in here you can see the little pins that go inside. So the bucket or anything is attached between those pins and those edges here. Those edges on this machine are flippable. So this plate here can be flipped to expose a new edge. I don't know how often those things wear out, probably not that often. Um, here you can see one of the uh, uh, grease fillings, right there. This machine has seven grease fillings, even though the um, user manual lists only six. So here we go. Huh? The manual is not very, not very useful. Eventually, we're going to open this up and look inside and clean up the mechanism inside. That's for another video. But let's keep moving around the machine. So here we see more grease fittings. This one is for the uh, the bucket cylinder or the broom cylinder. And then there's another grease fitting here, right there. So that's one, two, three. And this is the connection for the quick attach. Now we're moving to the auxiliary hydraulics. So we got the the flow. So usually it flows out of the female and then back in the male, but that can be switched. This is a case drain. So this one is just connected to the hydraulic tank with no pressure. It's just a, a direct connection that f flows to allow for um, draining extra oil if there is oil, extra oil in the attachment so that there is no buildup of pressure. So this is a zero pressure thing. Um, those couplers, I just uh, clean them so they are removable. You can unscrew them. And inside you'll find a bunch of springs and, and bolts. And um, so that's that's something to be to be done uh, every so often to clean them up. This is uh, the so-called 14 pin connector, even though there's not 14. But, and uh, comes back up like this. This machine has high flow. I don't know if there's a way to recognize high flow just from a picture, uh, but inside the cab we'll see how we can know if your machine has high flow or not high flow. We got another grease filling here. Down here is a window washer fluid. Here we have the connection for the cylinder. So there's a cylinder going here. So there's a grease filling which is right here. And that's the arm cylinder. Down here we have the, the resting bumper. So this thing is adjustable so that you can rest the, um, the mechanism against this bumper and then you can push using the undercarriage instead of relying on the 
joints. Uh, this machine is a radial lift, which is great for pushing because of that feature, because of the ability to push from the undercarriage instead of relying on the pins there. And uh, vertical machines are really nice for the reason, but they have more uh, points, more joints, which means more maintenance, more, more, more things. In my particular situation, I prefer a radial machine because I need to push stuff and I'm not in a business of, of filling up dump trucks or anything like this. So the radial lift is perfect for me and they cost less money usually. So that's a win-win for me. Here we have uh, that, that tool is used to hold up the cylinder and the arm when it's in a fully extended position. For example, for maintenance, you can open the cab, flip it up, do all those things. So this is a safety measure to keep it upright and, and prevent the arm from falling on your face. Uh, that's the cover for the tool box, which is somewhere here, right? So this red arm goes here and this is the cover for the toolbox. I'm gonna clean this up. So I remove those and start cleaning them. That's diesel fuel. Down here we have another grease point, and over here we have two grease points, one on each side. Now we are at the back of the machine. This machine has the extra air cleaner, so that, that is an option. Um, the, the, without the option, the air just goes inside directly, but this has an extra cap, and, and uh, I'm going to remove it and clean it up. Up there we see the lights, and the air conditioning unit is at the top of the machine. Another video, we're going to open this up and look at it, but not today. When we look at the tracks, we can see the tension system is behind this. They, normally there's a plate here, but I removed it to, to show you the, the system. So there's a zerk fitting, the grease fitting to add tension, to push the front idler that way. And then if you want to release tension, there's a nut. In my machine, it's a 7 8 you can change on other machines. And so you unscrew this nut and then poof, a lot of grease comes out. And then you push on the, on the tracks down and, and they would retract. My machine was, came to me with much, far too much tension on the tracks. That was a mistake. That was bad, but I fixed it up. I'm not sure what this is yet, but we'll figure it out. And I think that's all for the outside. Oh, I wanted to point out the different style of glasses. So you have some glass which is called tempered, and then we have glass which is called laminated. I have to investigate this a bit more, but I know that those are optional. The laminated glass is probably a bit better because it's an option that is not available everywhere. So here we have the wipers system and the window washer, and those can be disconnected in an emergency to open this up. So next video, we're going to go inside and we're going to look at uh, the controls inside.